Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Cody Holnia. And I'm Ann McFloy. Dozens of parents are demanding more of a say when it comes to helping the state so called failing schools. They took to the steps of the state education department today, hoping to sway the Board of Regents. Let's go now to Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard, who's there live tonight. Kimberly, what's the issue here and what did the board decide today? Well, Cody and Ann, most of these schools on the failing schools list, so-called, will be granted $75 million to split to help them improve. Now, there was also another major decision, how much student test scores should count toward teacher evaluations. Outside the state education department, dozens of parents call for more of a voice when it comes to their children's education. Local control has worked for many years for many areas. There's no reason that, that it wouldn't now, especially with the added funding for the struggling schools. Meanwhile, inside the state education department, develop. standing room only and an intense debate, the Board of Regents is deciding how much student test scores should count toward teacher evaluations. SED suggested that standardized tests count for 80 percent of the criteria, but the Regents knocked that number down to 50. Still too much, according to these parents. I believe that we will win if we let our parents in. And the state's largest teachers union. What we have here, though, is still an over-reliance on standardized tests. There is also concern about the amount of time districts have to implement the brand new system. The Board of Regents voted to extend the deadline by four months if a school can prove it's struggling to meet the deadline. I think that the, the districts are going to be demonstrating hardship in trying to meet the requirements of uh, negotiating this new teacher, um, teacher evaluation. The decisions made in committee will be voted on and likely approved by the full board Tuesday as the regents contend with their own deadline of June 30th. There's just a lot on our plate so to get done. There was also a lot of talk today about receiverships, who will have the power to turn around these so-called failing schools, or as some prefer to say, struggling schools, if they are consistently on that list. We'll have much more on that coming up at 6.30. For now, though, we're live at the State Education Department. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.